Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PC Geo Kimberly, a source of diamond. Today we are going to see an important topic from stratigraphy as per the SPPPO syllabus of FY and SYBSC. That is a chrono, chrono stratigraphy and its units. Chrono stratigraphy and units. I am Dr. Sajid Rundekar, Associate Professor in Head, Department of Geology, AKI Spono College of Arts, Science, Commerce, Camp, Pune, Maharashtra, India. It is affiliated to Savitri Bhai Pune, Pune University, SPPU Pune, and formerly it is known as University of Pune. Chronostatigraphy and its units. The term chronostatigraphy refers the aspect, the field of stratigraphy. Chrono means time, dealing with the temporal, that is a time relation and the age of the rock body. So here the chrono is a time and stratigraphy, that, that will be the rock will be there. So here we are going to study the, the time uh, relation and the age of the rock bodies. That is what we have, the chrono stratigraphy. Chrono stratigraphic classification in the field of stratigraphic organization rocks on the basis of their age or the time of their genesis. So here, whatever we are going to organize the rock into the vertical column in the stratigraphy is based on the age of the time, age of the rock or the time of their genesis when these rocks have been formed. The chronostatigraphic units are defined as the bodies of rock stratified and non-stratified that form during a specific interval of geological time. So those rocks which are formed at particular level, say example those rocks which have been uh, uh, formed in the Paleozoic, uh, particularly in the Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, whichever we have. So there the order has to be made properly. So the older will be at a greater, younger, younger will be there on the as a you come on the top, you will get the younger, youngest rock on the top. So that is order of superposition, vertical succession, or horizontal succession. So that is what we have the stratigraphic classification, uh, uh, definition. So here, chrono stratigraphy is there where the rock bodies are stratified or non stratified that form during a specific interval of geological time. Chrono stratigraphic units are the special rock bodies that are being conceptual as well as being material. They can be thought to be a sub subject of rock form during a specific geological time interval. So, the specific objectives are two objectives are there to determine local time relations, to establish a standard global geochronographic scale. That is a very important one. To establish a standard global chronostatigraphic scale. Chronostatigraphy is defined by the International Stratigraphic Guide as the element of stratigraphy that deals with the age of the strata with their time relation. So that is the uh, definition as given by International Stand uh, Stratigraphic Guide. Thus, the chronostatigraphic, that is chronostatic, Classification is the organization of rock strata into units on the basis of their age and the time of origin. However, with the newer development in the stratigraphic, these definition as no longer strictly true. Now, as advancement has done, the older definitions are gone and the new uh, definitions are coming up. The conceptual basis of the practice of the rocks and geological time, that is event, in the geological history on the basis of time intervals that isochronous and the time planes that are the synchronous. In the past, the term isochronous and synchronous has been used for virtual synonyms. synonyms. Here, the term syn synchronous is used in the sense of simultaneously in time and synchronous, thus a synchronous surface or a boundary was formed everywhere simultaneously or instantly. The term isochronous means equal time duration. Iso means equal, chronos means equal, equal time duration. But as commonly used in stratigraphy, it referred to bodies of rock that were formed during the same interval time 
and the interval time consideration being bounded by Schwinn-Kronos time frames. For example, the Devonian system is a set of all rocks, sedimentary as well as igneous or metamorphic, where they occur on the earth, formed during the Devonian period. So, as uh, Devonian will be there, it will be sandwiched between the, you can see now, the order of superposition, Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian. So, below that, Devonian, Silurian is there, Devonian, and above this one, we have the Carboniferous. So, the Devonian will be there, and it will be a sandwich. So, if we find out this, every part of the world has the same geological time scale. So, Devonian period. The boundaries of this constitutional set of rock are Srin Kronos, are the same age everywhere. That is the very important one. And the Devonian system is Isochronous, that is the same age and the age span everywhere, not only in India. Every part, wherever you are going to see or study the Devonian uh, system, there they have the same age of rock and the age span will be the same everywhere. When written with the proper noun, Devonian system, both the parts of the name of any chronostatigraphic unit are capitalized. Chronostatigraphic units like the system are based on the uh, be, are, are the basis for the Fenrozoic time scale. Chronostatigraphic units have a hierarchy wherein there are corresponding geochronologic units. The chronostatigraphic hierarchy with corresponding geochronologic geo term and example proper name is as follows. Now you can see one by one we will see what are the uh, we have the various pa, pa units are there of the chronostatigraphic uh, units. The erathum corresponding geochronic term is the yuan, that is a penrozoid. Inothem corresponding geochronic term is the era, example paleozoic. So, erathum, then inothem, then system corresponding geochronic term. Geochronological term is period, example Devonian period. Then system is divided into series. Corresponding geochronological term is epoch, example later Devonian. Stage, yes, a series will be divided into the series, uh, stages. Corresponding geochronological term is age, example Hasnian. And this stage will be sub stages corresponding to geochronological term sub age. And because Chronostatigraphic units are potentially vast vertical section of rock. Geologists observe the following convention with regards to a reference marker placed at agreed sites. So, wherever we have made the division, they are, we, have, we have made the marker. So, the wherever we have made the marker, they are, we have been uh, assuming that they are the, what we have, the unconformities. The example of lower boundaries of chronostatigraphic units. These sites called global stratotype sections or point GSSPS help define stratigraphic units. Not all the necessary GSSPS have the assign yet, but the work continue under the auspicious of International Union of Geological Science, IUGS, that is the International Union of Geological Sciences. They are going to uh, monitor all the what we have, the chronostatigraphic units. So, whatever we have, the stratigraphic units are there, they have been basically done by this particular uh, people. Time assigned to any of this time, the geochronological unit is determined by the rock of the corresponding time rock, that is a chronographic unit are directly comparable and for each unit, one kind there, there is a corresponding unit of the other. Although all classes then have not named. Now we'll see one by one how they have been defined. Chronozone, yes, chron. Chronozone is the informal term representing the smallest chronostatigraphic unit. We are starting from the small and then we'll go to the higher one. Chronozone is the informal term representing the smallest chronostatigraphic division. Chron is the corresponding geochronological term. A chronozone is defined by ISG as a zonal unit embracing all the rock form anywhere during the time range of some geological feature or some special interval of 
rock strata an informal chromosome may correspond to any time span of any length one can informally speak of the chromosome of the dinosaurs chromosome of mammals the stage next one the stage that is equivalent to age the stage is a unit relatively minor range in the hierarchy of formal chronostratigraphic unit the stage is often considered the basic working unit of chronostratigraphy its chrono chronological equivalent is age and the carries the same proper name as the corresponding stage the stage is a fundamental chronostratigraphic unit each stage is its own standard type section in many cases the higher range chronostratigraphic unit that is inatham or iratham are defined either directly or indirectly in terms of stages by content stages may be divided partially or completely into sub stages two or more adjacent stages may group into a super stage although in the practice it is rarely done the name of stages sub stages or super stages if newly created should be derived from the name of geolo geographic localities because regional name we are normally suggesting or feature in the vicinity of the type section of the area is yes, nobody has to suggest the name so you have to go systematically the so the points has been given that you have to first locally you have to see the ge geographical location second one nearby the vicinity what type of sections of area is there on the basis of that we have to suggest the name the stages usually are defined by two separate boundary strata that may well be widely separated geographic regions namely the lower boundary of the stage under the consideration of the lower boundary of the next overlying stage so which automatically define the upper boundary so lower and the upper boundary which are there so that will be the boundary which we are going to make out in the english language stage names commonly but not always end with r a n by josian of jurassic or sinomanian of cretaceous next one series that is the epoch a series is a major subdivision of a system it is expected that the most series can be recognized worldwide that is ideally all series should be recognized globally that is everywhere rocks of appropriate age are preserved series usually but not necessarily are subdivided into stages if a series is subdivided into stages it is usually is agreed that lower boundary of the series is coincident with the lower boundary of the lowest stage and likewise the upper boundary of the series is the coincide with the upper boundary of its highest stage which equals to the lower boundary of the supergent stage or and series if not divided into stages a series has its own boundaries marked by boundary strata series may be but rarely are united into super series two or more adjacent series or sub divided into sub series and the chronostratigraphic equivalents of a series is an epoch in marine basin these epochs often corresponding to a duration of either marine transgression or marine regression the three generally recognized series of the devonian are lower devonian middle devonian series and the upper devonian series in such a case of corresponding geo chronological terms take adjective appropriate to temporal interval that is early devonian epoch middle devonian epoch or late devonian epoch next system period the systems are unit of major rank in the chrono stratigraphic hierarchy and are recognizable worldwide of all the units of the global chrono stratigraphic hierarchy system are probably the most widely recognized and most widely used at least for the penrozoic systems are units of major rank in the special instances super systems sub systems have been recognized especially regionally the geo chronological equivalence of a system is a period in fenrozoic rock formation a system is characterized by a typical fossil assemblage 
the system boundaries are often demarcated by a sudden change in the sedimentary phases or in some cases angular unconformity in a system is divided into series and stages as all phenozoic systems are the lower boundary of the system is the lower boundary of the stratigraphically lowest formal component in it and likewise the upper boundary is the uppermost boundary of its uppermost formal component of the unit many of the systems are not defined clearly but in some instances it was subsequently discovered that there were either gaps or overlaps at the presumed boundaries of adjacent period furthermore there has not been always universal agreement as to what component stratigraphic unit that is series or stages are to be included in a particular system in some cases such controversy continues to give ex one example rikian stage very variously has been considered the uppermost stage of triassic or the lowermost stage of jurassic and some authors do not even distinguish a distinct rhinitian stage the name of the most of the system were derived from their type areas from where they are the rock succession of each system were first prescribed for example cambrian it is derived from cambria the great britain devonian from the devonshire is a in the southwest of britain jurassic from the jura mountains of the switzerland the name of ordovician and silurian were derived from the old tribes orovics and silurus living in england in case of carboniferous and cretaceous the names were derived from a typical lithologies in that particular area coal that is carbon in case of former and chalk that is a cretaceous in the latter the name of triassic signifies is three fold division in its type locality in germany tertiary and quaternary as well as paleogene and neogene represent the stages of organic evolution next one erathem or is equivalent to era erathem from the greek roots of er era and them the deposit of an era is the largest formal unit commonly recognized in the chronostratigraphic hierarchy and usually consist of several adjacent systems the interval of geological time corresponding to a erathem is an era erathem boundaries are characterized by the boundaries of the most pronounced discontinuity in the earth history erathem has traditionally named to the reflect major changes in the development of the life of the earth three erathems are recognized formal uh, for the phenozoic that is paleozoic mesozoic and cenozoic oldest to youngest paleo means the early mesozoic middle one and cenozoic is the recent which are roughly translated as old life intermediate life and the recent life potentially eras earlier than those of the phenozoic could be defined chronometrically rather than chronostratigraphically the archean era if treated as an era instead of eon might be defined simply the time interval from exactly 4 into 10 raised to 9 years to age to 2.5 to 10 raised to 9 years of age that is very big at the present there is no widely adopted set of era erathem or era era term for rocks below the base of the cambrian or the time before the earliest cambrian enothem that is the eon that is a bigger division enothem and its geochronologic equivalent the eon are the units of the next higher rank above the erathem or era and the phenozoic meaning the evident life that is present presence of life enothem or eon correspond uh, encompasses the rock type of paleozoic mesozoic cenozoic erathems or era the lowest boundary of phenozoic in enothem is the lower is the lower boundary of the cambrian system where the upper boundary of the phenozoic is the type of the rock being formed at the present phenozoic yes is has to be yet to be ended because we are in the uh, recent one for the time and rocks before and below those of cambrian various systems of eons 
and enothems have been proposed in most cases yon prior to the phenerozoic have been defined chronometrically for example hardland et al 1982 provisionally recognized three phenerozoic yons priscon archean and protozoic in the scheme of these authors the protozoic extends exactly 2005 year, 5 million years to the beginning of the phenerozoic the archean age eon is defined as spanning the time interval from exactly 4000 million years to 2500 million years and the pisconian is simply defined the pre archean time the term pre cambrian archaeozoic and the cryptozoic have all widely used by the various worker to refer the rocks lying below the oldest cambrian rock or refer to the time before the beginning of the cambrian i hope this will be clear the chronostratigraphy and in its this is the now uh, uh, it is there in the sy now slowly it has been going to shift in the fy so it will be there in now this time it will be there in the both uh, syllabus of fy and sy that is the sppu this is the syllabus of the uh, 2020 2021 and in the next year it is going to change so i hope this will be clear uh, regarding the chronostratigraphy and its time in its thank you